Welcome to this edition of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I wanted to share this with you guys. So I just picked this up off of Amazon, and I found this very interesting because it's a precision powered micro driver and so doing a lot of work on quads and everything um, and also having carpal tunnel myself uh, something like this really looked handy so I picked it up it wasn't that expensive sub 20 bucks and wanted to share with you guys so let's unpackage this and take a look at it okay so we've liberated from the blister pack and we've installed the batteries now this takes two triple a batteries and it comes with two triple a batteries over here and you simply uh, insert them into the base and screw this on uh, it is rather nice a nice fit a lot of times these chinese made uh, things don't have a nice fit but it, it has a very nice fit it seems to be a constant torque drive and it uses, I believe, like eighth inch uh, bits. Now I'll talk a bit more about extending the bit selection uh, in a minute. However, just right now what comes with it is you basically get a couple Phillips, two Phillips, two regular, and two Torx, a T5 and a T6. Now you say, Joe, but that's not a lot. I mean, you know, I'm doing quadcopters, I need Allen wrenches, blah, blah, blah. I've got you covered. And here's how I have you covered. So I've picked this up, and I'll have the, by the way, I'll have the links to all this below, including this Cobalt kit. So this is a 51-piece set of um, uh, basically 8-inch bits. So I've got all the Allens, all ki any kind of bit you can think of comes in this kit, as well as some sockets, too, that all fit in. Now, it, this comes with... Uh, this little micro driver and this is what I've been using but these also fit into here so you can take those and put them inside this driver so I, I think this is pretty cool now again it is it's not um, torque sensitive so you you uh, push it forward or backwards and it has apparently appears to be the same level of torque and it's actually pretty good I can hold some pretty good force against it and what I like about it is again, you know, for working on drones, you know, so I have the small Phillips, uh, fits very nicely. And so you t tightens here, I can remove these. Um, and so it pretty much works like a pen. And so you can see it removes it and I can screw it back in and really does a nice job. There's no clutch in here. Um, so, you know, once, once it, you know, starts pulling out of the head, you know, pretty much that's where you want to stop. Um, would be nice to have the clutch. Now, I'm going to tell you guys a secret. I am going to have something else similar to this coming very, very soon, but that's a different video. So, uh, the other piece I like about it, very portable, so you can throw this because it is battery powered. I will probably use uh, rechargeable AAAs. I like rechargeable batteries. I hate uh, disposable batteries, and you know, I think it's just sort of a waste. Um, but, you know, especially working on quads where you're doing a lot of screws, and the fact is, you know, I have carpal tunnel, and so it just makes it a whole lot easier rather than continually wrenching on it. So anyways, I thought this a pretty interesting, handy little tool. And again, by coupling it with this Cobalt kit, you really get a big variety of different bits. Because this is one of the things, you know, where do you get new bits? Where do you get different bits? You know, so uh, this actually comes in two versions. I uh, One version... Uh, has a light one version doesn't have a light this one doesn't have a light I really didn't want the light because the light was actually like another eight dollars for an LED at the, And I didn't need it. And so I just went with this. This is about 17 bucks on Amazon This is about 21 bucks on Amazon So I thought all in all a pretty good deal for precision micro driver set for working on quads or any other small electronics um, and you grab it and it just sits on the, the shelf. So you can best believe you'll see me 3D print some sort of uh, holder for this to go on the board because this is where this is going to be going. So anyways, hopefully you found this interesting. I'll have links to this below. Uh, so if you did find it interesting, smash that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, let me know if you have some interesting tools that you're using to work on, you know, quads and drones and all that kind of stuff. Love to hear about it. Cheers. See you in the next video.